Chicago is still home to over 110,000 black-owned businesses and is considered the nation's capital for black-owned businesses. Studies have shown that businesses are less likely to succeed if they're black-owned. Eighty percent of black-owned businesses fail in their first year. Are black businesses failing because of lack of support from their community? We sat down with the owners of Give Me Some Sugar and Dynamic Dance for Dance Studio to discuss the impact of black-owned businesses in their community. We're using our own dollars and we use them all. And so if we, um, you know, so business usually starts off very slowly. And if you don't have enough to survive, you know, for a year, chances are you're going to fail. Now, once we, you know, we support each other and we find the means to spend our dollars within our community, we should all gain success. Although most black owned businesses fail in their first year, the successful businesses feel they have a responsibility to look after one another in their communities. I look out, uh, you know, for each other. I know when I'm here by myself, a lot of times they always check on me to make sure I'm okay with it here, you know, especially late at night. Although there are many black communities willing to support black owned businesses in Chicago, there's a common misconception of what type of businesses are black owned. I frequent in Black Art Gallery, which is I'm about to start teaching dance classes at. I go to Black-owned restaurants, definitely Black-owned restaurants. Mostly restaurants. I know there are a lot of Black-owned restaurants. And as long as I get good service, good food, I'll cater to their business. Many people are unaware that the highest concentration of Black-owned businesses remain in the healthcare industry. We interviewed people on the street, and this is what they had to say when they found out healthcare was the leading industry for black owned businesses in Chicago. I did not know that. I did not know that. Mm, I didn't know that. I should uh, do more research and uh, probably figure out what's the best way to support black owned businesses in the healthcare industry. Surprise, but okay. I mean, I know we probably as a community, um, we're a little. Sicker. African Americans experience 30 to 40 percent poorer health outcomes than other races. In low income neighborhoods, patients with diabetes are 10 times more likely to undergo limb amputation than those in higher class areas. The death rate from breast cancer for African American women is 50 percent higher than for white women. African American businesses in the healthcare industry can help close the treatment gap in our communities and provide us with the support we really need. We interviewed Dr. Austin of Austin Family Dental, and he informed us on how black businesses can make a difference in the community and in lives of young African Americans. It's Lincoln Dental Society. We do a lot in the community to try to support and help out where we can so that we can advise and educate the community on dental concerns and health and concerns in general. One of the problems that, that we have um, at dental schools or dentistry in general has is we, we've got to get people in there and we've got to give them the resources to stay. Together we can make the change in our community by being more aware of black owned businesses and supporting them.